In this video, I'm going to show you how to change the materials of your piece and then check to see what the mass is. So let's just start right here. We're on our front plane. Let's go and we'll start a new sketch. All right, let's draw a square. Okay, go to our smart dimensions. Make this 100 by 100. Say OK. Features, extruded boss base. Let's extrude it out 100. We'll make a cube. OK. So right now, it's just the default material. It's not specified. And so what you want to do is you can come over here to where it has the materials on the left-hand side of your screen. Right click there and go to edit material. And this gives you a whole bunch of options here. Starts off with steel being the drop down. And so you could pick any one of these, um, any one of these types of steels. And if you look here, so like if we look at this 1020 um, steel, you can see down in here that it has a mass density. And so this mass density is given to you in kilograms to meters cubed. Um, and a lot of times, say if you're taking the exam to get certified, um, they'll actually show this in grams per millimeter cubed. Um, but the mass, the default is uh, kilograms to meters cubed if you have your um, if you have your settings over here in metric. And so um, in the case of the midterm, I'm going to actually have you guys use aluminum. So I want you to go to the aluminum alloy here. And I just want to use a generic 1060 alloy. And if you see here, you have a mass density of 2,700 kilograms per meter, meter cubed. And then you just click apply. And you can see here that when that happened, it actually changes the default color. So there is a default color that SolidWorks has for the different materials. Um, and we can just say, and then we can go up here and we can close this. So now we've given this a material and we can go up here now and we can go to the evaluate tab. So if you come across the top in your tabs to the evaluate tab, and then you can go to mass properties. And under mass properties, you can actually see up here that we have 2,700 grams. And that makes sense, right? Because we made this um, 100 millimeters by 100 millimeters by 100 millimeters. So since we're a metric, uh, we can actually figure out what the, you know, we have our cubic cubic millimeters here, and that's going to translate to our 2,700 kilograms to meters uh, cubed is going to be 2,700 grams for, for this shape here. So um, there you go. That is how you do your mass properties and um, and how you do your materials. If you got any questions, let me know.